All right, another update video on my 2022 Challenger that I said I was done modding. Well, that was a lie. So I'll come up front. Um, this is a 2019 FTR 1200 Fender, um, the carbon option that you can get. Um, these are actually on sale on the Indian's website right now. Uh, to get this to fit on the Challengers and Sport Chiefs, there's a nifty little bracket back here that you can buy from Kyle over at Forever Rad. It bolts on right here, and then they use it to factory mounting locations here. Um, it comes with all stainless hardware. I think the I think the bracket kit was like 250, and then these are on sale for like 175 or something like that. Um, or you can just buy everything straight from Kyle. And then moving back, oh, we also got some Arlen Ness mirrors, thanks to Star Bobber. And then we bought this carbon piece here. Um, since I have the base, mine was chrome, so it was either buy the OEM black one, or this is actually cheaper than buying the OEM black one. Um, plus it sheds about five pounds. Um, it's already comes pre-cut and everything just slides right on five minute mod. Also from Kyle over Forever Red. And back here, the big guy. We've got the full carbon fender with the CMP plate bracket. Um, Kyle was kind enough to cut this for me. Um, if you pay him a little bit of money, he will cut yours too. So he has a template. So um, he kind of follows the lines of the bags. It does a nice clean cut, otherwise it hangs down we think about right here um, especially with the toast bracket since I have the toast subframe back here everything stays tucked up and nice and it gives a nice clean look uh, these fenders do not come pre-drilled so you do have to do that um, what I did was since these are in the mold you can kind of see where all the holes actually are supposed to be and this they're center lines so you take a small drill bit drill a hole through the center Mount the fender on the bike, see where you're at, and then kind of wallow the hole out from there. Um, you can use a uni bit and get all these holes. And same, same thing, um, he'll sell you with a Hoffman stud kit that puts your OEM stud back in your seat here. Then you have to drill another hole up here for your coolant reservoir. As for the bag lights, what I did was, with the CMP plate bracket, it comes with these bag lights here, you can see. Put lit up, the same ones I have on my FTR. And I wired them back here made a harness soldered everything together wire follows down here and then goes back up in here um the connector is right here so when i need to take the fender off i can pull this bracket off take these bolts out the fender comes out just enough to get the connector out then this whole assembly comes off and then you unplug the harness up here and the harness is zip tied on the underside of this um, i'll throw some videos or some pictures at the end of this video i show you how i did the harness for this what i did was since I didn't want to drill into this fender, so when I sell the bike and I sell this fender, there will be no holes drilled in it. So if somebody wants to buy it and put the OEM stuff back on, they can, or if they want to do what I did, they can. And I have these custom dynamic bag lights here. So when I took off the OEM stuff, I threw a chassis fault code, and to get rid of that code, I had to wire some custom dynamics resistors in the OEM harness back here. And that completely got rid of the codes and got rid of the hyper flash on these lights back here. And I had an old FTR harness that I just cut the connectors off and soldered in some new stuff. Um, I have pictures of that too. I'll put it at the end of the video for you guys to see. But overall, I'm really happy with it. I think with the two fenders and that top piece, I shaved probably close to 50 pounds off the bike. I can't believe how heavy that damn thing was. So with all the carbon on it and the exhaust, I'd say it's close to 100 pounds lighter than it was. And you can actually kind of feel it on its feet. Um, just being slightly lighter than riding stock Challenger. The lift helps also. Uh... I think the only other really thing I did was just add these little stickers here. Overall, I'm still super happy with it. I might change the bar setup, I haven't decided yet. These bars move a little bit too much, like when you're kind of getting into turns, they're not exactly sturdy. So I might try the Spada Spadada, I think they're called. But that's where she sits now. I'll give another update next time I do more mods.